Welcome to Salento with Love. I'm David Mengoli, and wow, we have finally landed in a new headquarters. Can I say that? We're in a new building. I'm sure a lot of you probably traveling over to Salento will probably come and visit us. So for any one of you who's probably seen our Instagram uh, page, have been able to see some of the images and some of the interiors of our new offices. Well, I can't really call it an office. This is a building built in 1890 and it's been the house to an incredible family and was left abandoned for the last 20 years and now we've just given life back again. All of this thanks to remote purchasing. Why? Did I buy remotely? Uh, no, I didn't. But remote purchasing has allowed us to grow and develop and also has brought us to a stage where we need more space to handle the incredible amount of work and demand that we've got coming in. So I started a series called, on the playlist, you can find it, Remote Purchasing. And I think in March of last year, I illustrated a 16 points that could get you from just contemplating the idea of purchasing a property, getting you to purchase the property and also using it and generating revenue through rental. And I had a big board behind me with the 16 points. Work went so crazy that from March, April of last year until now, I've hardly had the time to breathe and to actually being able to share with a very wide audience what's been happening. So I'll use this as an opportunity to illustrate really what remote purchasing is about. Now, very often I get contacted and I get emails almost on a daily basis saying, Davide, we love your YouTube channel. We've been following you for a while. We've seen all the videos. Well, I'm not publishing very much. Hopefully a few more to come. And we would like to come over, or we are coming over, and we would like you to take us around to show properties. That's not what remote purchasing is about. Now, in the series that I did start, Remote Purchasing, which I will continue to deliver information, I would go and talk about each individual step that has allowed many, many of you, a lot of you now watching this video, and if you're just new to the channel, then subscribe to the channel because I love just sharing some Q and A's and information about what is the real estate like in Italy when it comes to purchasing. But anyway, that's another story. And this has allowed a lot of people to be able to purchase a piece of Italian real estate. You know, I'm getting distracted because I'm in this beautiful courtyard and can you hear the birds? Yeah, I think he wants to join into the video. All right, give me a break. I, I just need to finish this for a second. All right, well, we'll continue with them. But this is beautiful being in this courtyard. This is my own little corner where I'm going to deliver some amazing Q&As. But anyway, what's really remote purchasing about? Well, remote purchasing is for a call, a step into the future. I will talk into details into the 16 series steps about what remote purchasing is in terms of how can you achieve it. But in a nutshell, imagine you're at your computer and your computer comes up with a message that your printer it's running out of ink. What would you do? Well, you may just leave your desk right then, or maybe the next day, drive down to the nearest office supply store and walk in with the printer model and say, I'd like to order or I'd like to buy this cartridge. Now, maybe that cartridge it's out of stock. So you place the order and you drive back home. And then you get a phone call that the cartridge has arrived the next day, two days, three days later. In the meantime, you've been scared of printing because you could, you probably were just about to run out of ink or probably you were out already. So you go down to the store again and you pick up your cartridge and you go back. 
Now, in the process, you got into your car the first time, you got to town, you put money into a meter, you parked your car, you went back. If you don't have a stay, if you didn't have a stay, you didn't get a parking ticket. Then the second time, same story. Now that's one scenario. The second scenario would be that computer comes up with a message, order now. And maybe the next day, ding dong, and somebody's delivering your print cartridge. Now, what has this got to do with remote purchasing? Well, it's exactly the same. You see, purchasing a property in a different country requires an incredible amount of effort. I'm not going to use the board. I'm not going to bore you with numbers because we'll bring those into the next series that we are putting together. But imagine you come over the first time and you're just in love. Oh, this place is beautiful. Look, food is so good. It's so reasonable. The weather, the people, the shops, the countryside. I want a house here. Oh, we're leaving in three days. So you go back home and you go online and you start looking, looking, looking. And all of a sudden you find something and then you get in touch with the realtor and you get no reply. And you find something else and you write to the realtor and you get no reply. And then you find something else and you write to the realtor and you get an answer and you, yeah, and you may pursue it. And maybe you get on the plane and come back to see that property. Or they may send you some videos and you think, okay, what are they saying? I'm not understand this. You start asking questions, you don't get the answers. Then you come over and you look at the property, but then you go, go back because you can't buy a property just like that. There's paperwork to be sorted out. There is a lot of things that needs to be done prior to you completing and purchasing a property. So you go back and then a few months later, you get a message or an email or whatever saying we are ready to complete. Again, you just get on the plane and come over. I call it the three stage purchasing. Now, how much does it cost you? 5,000, 7,000? 10,000 to come over three times, four times. Well, imagine using that funds or those, that budget or that money towards the purchase of your property. But now you may have a question. And I know exactly what your question is. Davide, how do I know that is the right property? If I don't see it, if I don't feel it, if I can't touch it. See, I've been selling art for many, many years. Actually, you can't sell art. I, I probably used the wrong connotation. I've been assisting artists to get their work into the hands of art lovers. And it is an incredible journey. And I find this exactly the same thing with a property. It's very much the property finds you rather than you finding a property. Now, remote purchasing allows you to complete the journey without you ever setting foot in that area. I know that is daunting, but it's happening. And it's happening with incredible results. I would love if some of you that have completed the journey, and it's many of you, we're talking into the tens in this last year, could just put a comment there just for other people. You may connect, you may just uh, exchange ideas as well. Some of you have actually started their own YouTube channel, like Stephen on Casa Stefano, which I was. I would encourage you to subscribe. So when people write to me and say, Davide, what do you have for us? Or Davide, we are traveling over. We would like you to show us some properties. The answer is, that's not remote purchasing. That is just something else. That's old. That's the way it used to happen. Not anymore the way I do it. It's different. We find the property and we help you identify the property prior to you coming over. We'll help you to complete the journey prior to you coming over. Imagine on the savings. Now, large companies invest and spend huge amount of money when it comes to finding the right property for an investment or for a relocation. You see, and all the property finders, they spring out of nowhere helping and assisting. But if you have a 100,000 budget, 200,000, a million, where are you going to find a consultant that listens to you and matches your expectations with the property? Now, how much can you possibly do when you come over in a couple of weeks? 
And if you come over in May, June, you may have one environment. If you come over in August, September, you've got a different environment. And if you come over in the fall, you've got a different environment. So how are you going to know really if you're picking up the right thing in the right neighborhood, in the right environment, with the right neighbors? All you know, it's a box. Rather than looking at photographs, you're looking at the real thing. But what about the rest? This is really what remote purchasing does. Takes everything into the equation and allows you to make a choice, an informed choice, totally remotely, at the cost of a fraction of what it would cost for you to go back and forward and potentially pick something up that is not really ticking all the boxes. Now that's remote purchasing. Not to mention what happens after, because the catalyst to what we have been doing, it's really what happens after the purchasing, which is going from the simplest things, which are very important, convincing of your utility bills, your gas company, your electrical company, the water company, the local authority, connecting to the internet, for example, paying your bills, paying all your utility bills, doing some work to the property, looking after the property while you're not here, potentially renting that property and generating revenue for you. Those are all things that we do. But let's not talk about those. We'll talk about those in the 16 steps of remote purchasing. What I would have loved to convey with you with this video is the importance of engaging the services of remote purchasing. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would suggest subscribe to the channel because there'll be loads of new things coming through, but also to the Instagram page where you can see on daily activities of what we do here on the ground. In the meantime, I would say to you, just open your mind. Remote purchasing saves time, resources, and gets you exactly what you want. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have subscribed already to the channel. If you haven't, press the little subscribe button, press the little bell and stay safe wherever you are.